If so, I just have to push them open. Oh god, what if it's one of those fucking silly ass moments where you're pushing with all your might and in, in a big ass fucking sign in front of your face it says pull, but we're just so stupid we just keep pushing instead? That's happened to you at least once. I know it has, okay? Don't pretend that it has never happened to you. I know it fucking has. <gasps> I opened my eyes to the sound of the school's bell. The classroom was dead silent. What? We're back in class? I couldn't see a single student around. What happened to the miniature festival? And, uh, wasn't I in the inner yard just now? I got called out by the underclassman, and I wrote an SMS to him, and... And... The fuck is happening? Uh... I get the feeling that I got hit in the head by someone. I guess the guy that called me out would be the most likely culprit. Anyway, I had to reassess the situation. <gasps> As I tried moving, I finally noticed the weight on my shoulder, as well as the faintly sweet smell. There was someone right next to me. I turned my head to see Ayana, sleeping on my shoulder. Hey, Ayana! I tried shaking her. She mumbled something and slowly opened her eyes. Are you awake? Yeah, wake up, sleepyhead. What the hell is going on? We were long past being embarrassed over little things like that. Ayana calmly shifted herself upright. I could hear her bell accessory quietly ring as she did so. I guess? I don't know what the fuck happened. After looking around the classroom, she said the same thing I did. Um... I'm not sure about that myself. You remember what happened before you fell asleep? She fell silent for a few moments. Her too? I looked around the classroom again while she was busy collecting her thoughts. I couldn't see any traces of the miniature festival actually being carried out in this place. Uh-huh. Yeah, I didn't even buy your 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 Tayaki yet. Oh, and then she got hit in the head too, and now we're both here for some reason? Cause somebody either dragged or carried us here. Here? So Huh, she got hit too. You too? Yeah. And I was in the inner yard. Not here. An underclassman friend wrote me an SMS to meet him there. What the fuck? Okay, that means that then somebody carried me here into the classroom while I was unconscious. I guess that means that someone carried me all the way over here. I mean, maybe they did the Weekend at Bernie's kind of thing, you know? Just, just like, carry me in such a way that I was still sort of walking and made it seem like I was just... I don't know. Like, I'm at least alive? Hmm. What the hell was going on here? Judging from what Ayana told me... After being called out to the inner yard by an underclassman, I got clobbered by someone and lost consciousness. After that, the culprit carried me all the way over to this classroom. Meanwhile, Ayana, worried that I wasn't coming back, went over to the inner yard herself, but found nothing. She then started looking for me, up until she found me in this classroom. And when she did, she herself got hit and lost consciousness. But then... Who the hell was doing this? And why? And how come nobody noticed? There was no way no one would have seen Ayane being hidden here. I mean, school, both classrooms and corridors were packed with students during the festival. There was something odd about this. 
the logic just didn't add up. I don't know. Did we get uh, carried over into a different dimension, different parallel world? What the fuck? I don't know. Ayana's voice brought me back to reality. An empty classroom. Or like suddenly it's Sunday or something and nobody, obviously nobody is in school on Sunday. But then why would she still... She was looking for me on that actual day of the event. Not in the week. What? I don't know exactly why. I wonder what was going on outside. Yeah, let's go check the corridor at least. I stood up and gave my hand to Ayane, who then, who then stand up too, muttering thanks under her breath. You got hit in the head too, right? Do you feel okay? Do you got a bump anywhere? Okay. I'm okay, I guess. I got a tough skull, don't worry. Got a hard head. Yeah, it doesn't even hurt. I don't know. Maybe even a silver-haired girl for whatever reason. I wish I knew. I tried looking outside the window. The green woods, now illuminated by the orange glow of dusk stretched as far as the eye could see, just like always. The only difference was that I couldn't spot a single student outside. Hmm? Oh shit. That kinda does make it seem like we're in a totally different place or world, right? Why would- what other reasons would there be to lose signal on your phone? In a normal location, like normally I'm pretty sure we have signals on our phone in this classroom. Huh? I glanced at my own phone. Me neither. This might have been a school in the middle of the woods, but it was the first time in my life I found myself completely without signal like this. And this is the fucking 21st century, okay? The internet is everything to us. The time displayed on the phone screen indicated it was almost night. Yeah. Anyway, the first thing we had to do was assess our situation. I could tell something was not right, just by instinct alone. I wasn't dreaming. Was I? No. The sensation was way too real for that. What? <gasps> huh? I jumped up at the sudden burst of energetic voice. Who? Who the hell is that girl with like the, the buns? She's got like b b balls on her head? Her hair is like in a ball? I followed the direction of the voice to see one of our underclassmen, Shibaya Sumika, wearing a dumb grin. By the way, what the hell is going on underneath there? What the hell? You can almost see her pantsu? Almost. When the hell did you come in? I didn't hear the doors open. Nin nin? Nin nin? What does that mean? Ah, so you finally mastered the path of the ninja. Oh, that's what it means. Sneaky sneaky like a ninja. Nin nin. Okay, so she is here too. So, there's at least three people here. Me and two girls, lucky me. D don't go around throwing half-baked practical jokes at people, okay? You don't need to joke at all, uh, joke all the time, you know? Yeah. It seems like a pretty serious situation. Really? You looked everywhere? I'll go check. I do, but you know, seeing is believing. I only believe my own two eyes. <laughs> Who is Igusa? Is that me? Let's go, Ayana. 
無視しないでください私も行きます Alright, come along, Sumika. Ah, Ah, Itsuki is here too. Itsuki! I ran straight into Itsuki as I left the classroom. What are you talking about, Sumika? There is someone else here. Itsuki, were you in a committee room all day? So, ah, shit. That's one thing that we've all got in common. We all fell asleep. Whether by force or actually just, you know, fell asleep ourselves. But that, that seems to be either some shit happened while we were all unconscious slash passed out. Or that is the way of somehow ending up in this world. I don't know. Or this could all just be a dream. You didn't ha happen to get hit in the head by someone or something. You too? Me and Ayane together. Right. How was it in your case, Sumika? Ah, uh, oh, fuck. So we totally all got ambushed, knocked in the head, unconscious, and somehow we ended up here. That's the thing that we all have in common. Seems like we're all in the same boat. At least, everyone here was hit in the head and lost consciousness before ending up in this situation, allegedly. You don't know her? Dude, dude. And Suki's voice brought me back to reality. Oh, I guess I never introduced her. She's an underclassman we know. She is quite cute, isn't she? <laughs> I got a lot of connections, dude. I got a lot of connections with girls. Mm. Huh? Uh, well, that's... You know, that. Right, Sumika? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? What do you mean? What the hell? What the hell are we into? Itsuki made an understanding smile. It seemed like he wasn't planning to pry into the matter any further. But in any case, I considered the fact that we were all assaulted from behind. From behind. Ayana, Sumika, and I all remembered getting hit. Itsuki, do you remember how you got hit? <laughs> But then why? Why did he say he fell asleep? I'm pretty sure the first thing he said, he fell asleep. Have any ideas about who could have assaulted you? I got called out to the inner yard by an underclassman. I think you know him too. Uh huh, that loud fucking neighbor that never uses his earplugs when listening to porn. Yeah, that fucking dude. Anyway, he wasn't there when I reached the inner yard. And I was killing time waiting for him. I got hit from behind. I recollected the incident. It was not my imagination or a dream. I could vividly recall the pain I felt. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Time to put on our tinfoil hats. Conspiracy of what? Well, I mean, apparently everybody's fucking talking about it. Hmm. <sighs> I mean, it's gotta be connected to that somehow. As much as a skeptic as we are for not wanting to believe in it, it's gotta be connected to it somehow. We just left the classroom to look around and figure that out. Sumika said there were no other people besides us in the school. I looked around the corridor one more time. Ah, Not even the fucking janitor? 
私の言った通りじゃないですか。But you didn't see it, Suki. Sorry, okay? ところで、あやなちゃん一緒じゃないの She's not with us? What? Huh? I finally noticed that one of our group was inexplicably missing. I looked around again, but she was nowhere in sight. Oh, please, no. The fuck? Yeah, she definitely left with us. What? Huh? Hmm? Ah, uh, alright. I doubt she'd have gone there without telling us, but it didn't hurt to check. She definitely was with us when we left the classroom. Where the hell is she? Oh my god. After a minute or so, Sumika returned with the disappointing news. I see. Oh shit. Everybody's phone is not working. We're all stuck in here together. We lost Ayana. Oh shit, this is only the beginning, right? No, mine's not getting one either. Sumika muttered the words with a dead serious face. Yeah, right. Okay, I don't doubt. I'm willing to say that it's it's totally fucking weird, okay? But I'm not immediately just gonna say seven mysteries. Not yet. We're not there yet. The dead body of a student would be found the day after the miniature festival. What if we were the designated victims? Let's look for her. I mean, if it's all somehow connected, right? What if like all four of us were selected and only three make it out alive, one person dies or something like that, and that person ends up the one that, that dies the day after Miniature Festival? Like some sort of sick Hunger Games thingamajig? Alright, good. Then let's assemble here after we're done. I mean, panicking is the worst thing we can do right now. We're not being chased by monsters or ghosts or anything like that. So, I think we should stay calm for now. You should stop mumbling nonsense and go look for her too. But you keep bringing it up, you with Ayana together. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, thanks. She disappeared down the stairs. Which meant that I would be searching this floor. I guess we could all check the first floor later. Okay, so we are on the third floor. The whole school seemed to be permeated with this dead silence and a thoroughly eerie air of dusk disappeared students. The seven mysteries of the miniature festival. I guess I'll check the classrooms for now. I couldn't find her. I checked every room on my floor, but there was no trace of her. I was starting to get seriously worried. Neither of the two had returned yet. I guess they were still busy searching. Disappeared students. I wondered if Ayana had become one of them. Actually, who has disappeared here? Us? Or the rest of the students? Ah, it could be us who disappeared as well. Like, for it depends on the perspective, right? From our perspective, everybody else is gone. From their perspective, we're gone. Who disappeared? Who knows? The corridor was ruled a by a dead silence. I could still see the sun setting beyond the window. I wonder why an empty school had such an abnormal feel about it. The strangeness of the situation got to me even stronger now that I was left all alone. Please guys, I don't like being alone. Damn, I was getting seriously anxious now. 
Maybe I should check on Sumika or Itsuki. Check on Sumika, Itsuki. <laughs> when in doubt, always check from the waifu. I should check, uh, try checking on Sumika for a bit. Let's go downstairs. Sumika, Sumika, where are you, are you, girl? I'm just actually singing to comfort myself because I get scared. But there I was met by nothing but the orange glow of the corridor. Maybe she was in one of the classrooms. Guess I should check them one by one. I already have a feel that maybe like every floor takes place in a different fucking dimension. I don't know, like I'm pr maybe just overthinking this way too much. But like, the school doesn't seem to be that big, right? This is a pretty, you know, narrow corridor. If every floor is kind of like this, it's kind of hard to lose someone. So like, why are we incapable of finding these people? I couldn't find her anywhere. All the classrooms I checked were empty. And yeah, now that I thought about it, if she was here, I would have at least heard a sound or something by now. Maybe we passed each other on the stairs somehow. Or did she disappear too? Dum dum dum. Oh no, don't start thinking that. <gasps> I started running. What about Itsuki? Who gives. <laughs> Sumika! Sumika! <gasps> and then that happened. The loud scream instantly stopped me in place. That voice, that was Sumika. It was Sumika's. No doubt about it. Go fucking look for her, dude. I think it came from the girls' toilet. Uh-oh. Normally we're not supposed to go in there, but fuck it. Did something happen inside? Whoever put us into this situation might still be lurking around. I turned around and dashed towards the toilets. Sumika! Are you alright? <laughs> What happened? What happened? I found her all teary-eyed, pressing against the toilet's wall. She seemed scared out of her wits. It didn't seem like there was anyone else here, though. What happened? I thought someone was trying to kill you or something. Did she find something? Oh, please no. Don't tell me you found like a corpse. Or, or like a message written in blood. Yeah? <sighs> I almost got a little bit angry, but I feel her pain, okay? I fucking hate spiders too. I seriously detest spiders, okay? But I feel like in this situation, given the, you know, the fucking situation that we're in, a spider, as fucking scared as I am of those tiny little creepy crawlies, that's kind of the least of our worries, and okay? Like, you know? That... Uh, when I just hear someone scream in this situation, I just think like, okay, she's either being attacked, uh, getting murdered, or, you know, she saw something terrible, fucking horrible, blood, uh, brains, anything. Nope. Just a spider. Just a fucking spider. A spider? That's <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, calm down, calm down. I never thought I'd ever have to do this in my life. Calm someone else down over freaking out over a spider, because normally it's always reversed with me. I'm the one freaking out over spiders, but calm down, okay? Calm down, Sumika. It's alright, it's alright. There are worse things, I think. We haven't even seen anything worse, but I assume there are worse things lurking around in here besides spiders. So, you know, don't waste all of your screaming on a spider. Save it for when you really need it. God damn it! Think about the situation that we're in. You nearly gave me a heart attack. I can understand that. So, where did it go anyway? Huh. I let out a sigh. I see Ayane is not here. Let's leave. Oh, come on! I was I was actually kind of happy that she didn't comment about this. The fact that I'm in a girl's toilet. I mean, come on! I obviously didn't come here to fucking peek on girls peeing. Okay? 
like you freaking screamed from him here. What did you want me to do? Stand near the door? Sumika, are you okay? Are you okay in there? I came inside because you were squealing like a stuck pig here. That's more like it. That's more like it. That's all I wanted to hear. You didn't need to call me a pervert now, did you? This is what I wanted to hear. Good grief. What a quick 180. I left the toilet together with Sumika. The unsettling mood gone, as though never having been there. I'll give it a quick look. So wait here for a second, okay? I checked the toilet as I said, but found no trace of Ayana. Man, how could she be? She wasn't there. I guess we should go back to the meeting place. Let's go upstairs. Really? Tsuki's not here? It's possible. Let's try going back. Neither Ayana nor Itsuki were present on the fourth floor. Maybe he'd finish his search while we were busy discussing spiders and whatnot. Uh, hmm? Sumika gave me an uncharacteristically serious look. Yeah, what about it? I just wanted to make sure if I'm available, is that it, Sumika? Is this really the time and place to be talking romance, though? Ah, who gives a fuck? I'm always, I'm always in need of a waifu, okay? I see. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, we were childhood friends, okay? I'm confirming it for the second time. Childhood friends, not lovers. She's not my girlfriend. I don't have a crush on her, I think. So, you know? If you want to get me, get you some of this, Sumika. It's all yours. I already said we are. <laughs> and after that, she fell silent. What the hell is that all about? The corridor gained an even deeper hue of orange, almost crimson, as the lonely sound of our footsteps reverberated across its walls. The sun was sure taking a long time to set today. I glanced towards the inner yard. Huh? There was someone there! Ah, oh, the girl again? Huh? Is the silver-haired girl there? No, um... Can you see that? The fountain in the middle of the inner yard. Oh, what? I could make out the black hair languidly floating on the surface of the water. Even from this distance, that's Ayana, right? She wasn't moving. What the fuck? <gasps> I dashed forward. Don't you see that? The dead body of a student would be found a day after the miniature festival. No, 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 not Ayana, not Ayana. That girl in the fountain. That was definitely Ayana. Oh, shit. She fucking forecasted this from happening. It's like she just fucking knew. Remember when she asked us, like, what would you do? What would you do if I ended up the person dying because of the miniature festival thingamajiggy seven mysteries, right? And then it actually fucking happened. Or I, at least it looks like it. I saw Ayana! You didn't see her? I actually kind of thought this. Back in the bathrooms with the spiders, right? That we're all separately seeing different things. Like, Sumika said she saw the spider. We didn't see it there. Like, okay, that's such a tiny thing. Yes, the spider could have disappeared. But still, I don't know. I feel like maybe this entire place that we're currently in is just playing with our our perceptions of things or something, you know? Playing how we are perceiving how we're, what we're seeing. I don't know. Just fucking toying with us. In the fountain. Come on, we gotta fucking go. I ignored her and rushed toward the exit. I had to see her from up close. Maybe she was just unconscious. Maybe she was still okay. Ugh. I stopped in place. The doors wouldn't open. Come on! Why? 
The main doors leading outside wouldn't open. But it didn't seem like they were locked. If so, I just had to push them open. Oh god, what if it's one of those fucking silly ass moments where you're pushing with all your might and in, in a big ass fucking sign in front of your face it says pull, but we're just so stupid we just keep pushing instead? That's happened to you at least once. I know it has, okay? Don't pretend that it has never happened to you. I know it fucking has. By the way, is it just me or... or uh, <laughs> Does those freaking... Uh, w what are they? Bookcases? I don't know. But they kind of look like fucking waffles to me, okay? Right? The pattern, the shape of those things, they look like fucking waffles. That's all I had to do. Yet the doors just let out a rumbling sound and refused to open. Why? Uh, so we got caught up to me, completely out of breath. Wow, are you that out of shape, girl? I can't open the damn doors! Oh fuck, are we really trapped in here? Why does this give me a Danganronpa feel? Fuck me. Ah, uh, what the hell? We should break a window. I don't know what GTO is, but yeah, let's fucking go full GTO on this bitch. Like I care about that now. I saw Ayane lying in the damn pool. That's why I've got to confirm if it's really her. And if we don't find a way out, we're gonna be stuck here for who knows how fucking long. That's because I just saw my fucking childhood friend lying in the water, maybe dead. What, do you expect me to just go like, Oh, you know what? Yes, you're right. Let me just calm down, breathe. Okay, yeah, maybe she's dying there. Maybe in the time while I'm actually here, breathing, trying to calm myself down, she's still alive, clinging on to life. Like, please, someone help me. How the hell am I supposed to calm down after seeing that? Okay, okay, we need something heavy. Yeah, it's an emergency. If we find something like that, I don't care. Just use anything heavy enough to break it. If we will even use your fucking boobs if we have to, okay? Why does she seem like a little bit too upbeat for this whole fucking situation? No, it's alright. I'll go look for one. You just wait here. I'm the one who came up with the idea. And fire extinguishers are pretty heavy, you know? What? Are you implying I'm seeing things? I'm not that stressed yet. Uh, hmm. Now that I've cooled down a little, maybe she had a point. Alright. Yeah. I do agree that just like we need someone else, we need her to confirm it too. Like maybe this place in, is indeed playing mind games with us, you know? Who's that? That voice. <gasps> An unfamiliar voice reached us as we were about to start moving. A clear but thoroughly cold voice. I turned in its direction. There's no one there, but I saw something, I swear. Ah, right next to me, at the other edge of the door. So the silver-haired girl, it's here, it's her. Her hand pressing against the metal frame, eyes fixed on the scenery outside. An illusion? Really? She shifted her gaze to me. Red eyes. Just like I saw that day. I 
don't know exactly, but I've seen her before. Uh, I'm not sure I can say that I know her either. Huh? Itsuki, where the fuck were you? Ah, Itsuki's carefree voice stuck out of uh, stuck us out of nowhere or struck, as though to shatter this weird, tense mood. Itsuki. Ayana-chan, You did? Oh, dude, what the fuck? Huh? Sleeping? What the fuck? Huh? You confirmed that she was breathing? Got it. I'll go check on her. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I glanced at the mysterious girl. Her red eyes were once again fixed on the scenery outside. I don't know exactly, but she is definitely connected to this place. No doubt about it. Or connected to what the fuck is happening. Itsuki gave me a confused look. I don't want to start drawing conclusions immediately and say that she's behind it. Maybe she's on our side. Maybe she's not. We don't know yet. Ah, uh, I... Uh, I don't know. It was the girl I saw in the inner yard that day. Ayana floating in a fountain might have just been my mind playing tricks on me. But that girl wasn't. I could swear that. Hey. Her gaze once again shifted to me. You were in the inner yard yesterday, right? Is that a no? Oh? Uh? And with that, she turned on her heel and started down the corridor. No, 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 come on, we should stick together. Like, it turns out there's another person here that we didn't know was here after looking through this entire freaking place. Like, where did she appear from? You gotta stick with us, girl. Well, wait! None. Do you know anything about who assaulted us? Oh, what's going on here? Shirana. Hmm. She started walking again. Ah! I tried going after her, but she disappeared after a turn. I was pretty sure I was right behind her. Oh, what? How can she just after taking a turn and then suddenly be gone? Did she just run really, really fast? No, that's impossible, right? Ah. Oh. This place, I don't know man, but this place is definitely fucking with us. I'm always in reality, okay? Sumika was smirking behind my back. Itsuki, you said Ayana was in the infirmary? Uh, dude! Terrible choice of word, he said she was dead! Asleep. <laughs> like, imagine if he actually paused after that. Yeah, she was dead. Dot, 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 dot. Asleep. Gotcha. How much did you say you got on that last test again? <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. Who needs reality anyway when you got anime and video games, right? I'm glad you're honest. When did you check the infirmary anyway, Yatsuki? Okay, so I guess we really just indeed missed each other. I see. Does this school have like stairs on two sides of the building, you know? You know, like two sides um, or just two stairs on each floor? You know what I mean, right? On, on on the opposite side of each building, you just have like stairs that are going up to each every single floor. That's one way to miss each other. But if there's only one set of stairs, it's really hard to miss each other, I feel. Because you'd always see someone on the stairs, unless you're not in that particular area. But it's really harder to miss someone if there's only one stairs. So I have a feeling there has to be two, I guess. That would make more sense. Yeah, それにしても保健室に行くまでの間に何があったんでしょうね。I don't know. I don't even know what the fuck is going on. Yeah. I checked the inner yard one more time just in case. 
but couldn't spot anyone in there, in the fountain or not. We found Ayana in the infirmary. What the hell did I see there in the inner yard? And what about whoever assaulted us? So far, it seems like the only people in the building are us and that girl. Why would anyone want to lock us inside? And who could they possibly be? The underclassman who wrote me that message? I highly doubt he'd have a motive to. Besides, I'm the only person of our group he knows. Then, a completely unknown third party? Or was this really some sort of paranormal phenomenon related to the Seven Mysteries? Would one of us die? And then our dead body turn up tomorrow? <sighs> I had no idea what was going on anymore. This was insane. What were we supposed to do?